is a story gripping the nation. The baby of a murdered Houston couple identified and found alive more than four decades after she disappeared. And now that the shock of it is all finally starting to set in, more of baby Holly's family members are opening up and sharing their story. ABC 13's Daniela Hurtado is live in the newsroom for us tonight. And Daniela, I, I can only imagine this family. They just cannot wait to meet her and hug her in person. Yeah, in person. So they've already met virtually just hours after baby Holly, who's now 42 years old, found out her true identity from law enforcement. It's really been a whirlwind for everyone involved and the family of Harold, Dean and Tina really have so many questions and they say they really want to know who killed that couple. You know, the things that that we heard were that, you know, they had joined a group and were, you know, giving up worldly possessions and um, we just never heard from them again. A 42 year old cold case. So many questions and rumors on where a young couple may have gone. The family of Harold Dean and Tina Klaus were told last year their loved ones were found beaten and strangled to death in a wooded area of Houston. But who did it? And where was their infant daughter, Holly? We didn't know if she had been killed or if uh, she got caught up in human trafficking or was she sexually abused? You know, we had no idea what happened to her. For decades, those questions haunted baby Holly's family. That's until this week. Thanks to genetic genealogy, baby Holly was found alive in Oklahoma. This is her with a photo of her late parents that we love her, and we miss her, and we care. A big break in the case. I just wanted to hug her. I just wanted to get up and hug her so bad, but it was Zoom and you can't. Her family met her virtually earlier this week. So to know that she's finally safe, It's a really good feeling. Dean's mother prayed for this day for decades and says Holly resembles Tina so much. She has her mother's, um, yeah, her mother's smile and she has her mother's uh, voice. Yeah. To the day. Yeah, she's very she's soft, soft, very sweet. soft, very soft spoken. It's like getting a piece of Junior and Tina back. Yes, yes, you know, a part of them. Authorities say Holly was given to a church in Arizona by two women in a supposed nomadic religious group, but they don't say when or how exactly she ended up in Oklahoma. We asked the couple's family about it. It's hard for me to imagine that they would be in a group, you know, um, but, uh, you know, every individual is different and I suppose anything's, you know, possible. Um, Hopefully we'll know the rest of the story. As they plan to meet who they know as Holly, they also await answers on who killed Holly's parents. In Houston, Daniela Hurtado, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.